Hey guys, I did a video the other day where I was talking about inverter heating and air systems and how reliable they are and how they are the future. And I received a comment on that video. It's a little bit of a misnomer or really it's just ignorance from some of the people that are out there. They're either misinformed themselves or they're being told other people misinformation. And I thought I would do this video debunking this huge myth surrounding inverter heating and air systems. A lot of heating and air guys out there that don't want to change with the times come up with a lot of excuses on why they don't want to install these higher sear systems. Some of those myths I can't debunk because a lot of times they're just opinions, but when the myths have been in the past, things like they're not as reliable, we've debunked that myth in some of our other videos, or they'll say things like they're more expensive to fix, We've debunked that in other videos, talking about the extended warranties that a lot of these systems are coming with. Some of the systems, including we sell Daikin at Griffin Air, and a lot of their systems come with an actual unit replacement warranty. So if something were to majorly fail, they would give you an entirely new unit. And so this latest myth, if you will, this latest opinion with these higher seer systems that, like it or not, they are the future. The rest of the world has already gone that way. Of course, in America, we like our gas guzzling cars and our ducted air conditioners. And I do want to say before I go any further, this is not a political statement. I don't really even care where you stand politically on this stuff. I just want to give the information that a lot of folks don't want to get out there. I try to inform homeowners when they're buying heating and air systems of things that are coming or things that are misinformation, wrong opinions and things like that in our industry. So this is not a political statement. This isn't me trying to push an agenda. If I were to make it a political statement, it would probably be how most politicians are evil anyway, how both sides suck. So I won't get into politics. So this comment on the video the other day, this myth, this misnomer, this political statement was basically somebody that said, the day that I sacrifice being comfortable over, quote, climate change, unquote, nonsense, will be the day that I'm six feet under. What he basically said is, before he installs a higher sear inverter, more efficient system in his home, he won't sacrifice comfort for that. And that is the myth here. To have a more efficient system, you have to be less comfortable, is completely false. And I'll tell you why. If you were to compare an inverter communicating system, say the Daikin Fit, for example, to a single stage, very inefficient heat pump system that's drawing electricity every time that system kicks on and off. Imagine the system being like a light switch where there's either on or off. There's constant spikes in energy and that system is turning on and off throughout the day and the system turns on when your home has gotten kind of hot. It's reached the top of that temperature range of whatever temperature you have it set at on your thermostat. The system turns on. You have that spike in energy. It drops the temperature in the room below your set point on your thermostat and then turns off. So throughout the day, you're constantly having this swing in temperature. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Well, of course not. A lot of thermostats, I can't say all, but most thermostats, there's gonna be a degree and a half of temperature swing throughout the day. So if you have it set at 72, it's gonna raise up to 73, turn on, drop it down to 71.5, turn back off, and you constantly have this temperature swing throughout the day. A lot of folks don't realize it because your thermostat does not reflect that. So if you have it set at 72, it's not going to show you that it's going up to 73 and back down to 71.5. It's just going to say 72 and, and keep that temperature throughout the day turning on and off. Years ago, there were thermostats that would show you. It would jump up to 73 and then turn on and drop back down to 72. And we actually used to get service calls on that. But most digital thermostats today, they're not gonna show you that constant shift. And so the difference is a communicating inverter system is not gonna do any of that. It's going to figure out what speed it needs to run that system at to keep temperature and keep you comfortable throughout the day. There is no swing in temperature. You actually would be more comfortable with an inverter system, not less comfortable. Would it make you more comfortable? 
And the other thing I would argue is these inverter systems, because they're designed to run longer, not these constant spikes up and down, they'll figure out what low speed they need to run at, keep your home comfortable and keep the system running longer and remove more humidity from that space. There are parts of the country that that humidity control alone is going to make you more comfortable. So this myth to think, oh, I'm going to be more comfortable if I have a less efficient system is just simply not true. You might be able to make that argument with other industries out there. You might say, I don't want to have a better gas mileage car because I want to have when I push the gas, it goes faster. Or other parts of the heating and air industry where folks will even make the argument, I feel warmer when it's a fossil fuel being burned versus electrical. That's not what we're talking about here. Just to simply say that to go with an inverter system, you're going to be less comfortable is simply not true. So I want to do a video on that. I hope that helps if you're in the market for a heating and air system and you're shopping around and you've got some heating and air guy, some professional that doesn't want to get with the times. Good Lord, Jandis. I will tell you as time goes on, they are eventually going to have to get with the times. Eventually here in America, they won't have a choice like it or not, whether you think it's political or whatever, systems are going to get more and more efficient and they're going to draw less energy and they're going to be, in a lot of cases, inverter systems, making you, like it or not, more comfortable. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Have you had a pro or someone else try to tell you that these systems are going to be less comfortable or some other opinion that makes you think ill of these systems? I would love to hear about that. Please comment down below. Smash that like button. That always helps us out. And of course, thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.